Hello, this is Kevin King with Pinehurst Websites and I'm going to quickly explain the product import CSV file from Shopify. And uh, you can download that at Shopify's website. There's also a link on my website at uh, pinehurstwebsites.com and uh, I have a blog about product imports from Shopify but I'm just going to show you right here in this spreadsheet. This is a CSV spreadsheet in Excel and uh, this is the format that has to be in to import it. You have to have these columns going across the top here. Uh, this is product information going uh, anywhere below this and uh, there's a certain format to filling it out. It's all explained in Shopify but I'm just going to run through uh, the basic information and how to fill out these fields right here and I've separated a couple of um, things that are going to be uh, the same every time like published and option name uh, these are for products without variants so if you have products that aren't don't have any variants it's pretty simple to do an import you need about uh, 18 fields filled out here but a lot of them can just be duplicated so that makes it pretty simple uh, there's only about 8 to 10 fields that have to be filled out uh, on your actual products and the rest are the other 10 fields are going to be replicated every time. So let's just go through these fields real quick and uh, show you how it works. So the handle is the first one. This is simply the title of the product with dashes in the middle and the handle is the URL of the product and that's why it has to have dashes. If you ever look at a URL on a website it has dashes in it. So I'm going to create a product here and I've uh, marked out some things on a Word document right here that we'll just copy over. So the product title is going to be uh, Blue Starfish Necklace. So as I said before, the URL is simply the title with dashes and it's all in lowercase. So that's all you need to remember uh, for that. So let's just copy this over and then we'll just uh, paste it right into here where the handle is and that's all you need to put in there. So the title, as we saw, is just Blue Starfish Necklace. We're just going to copy that. That is simply the title, which is in um, website terms. It's the, whoops, it's the, um, it's called the H1 title of the product, which gets a uh, special sort of coding uh, and a special sort of significance. Uh, but you don't really have to remember that. You just need to know it's the title of your product and think in terms of how people would search that item. The body is just the description of the product. So if we go here, we've got a description, beautiful uh, necklace uh, with a starfish in blue. So let's copy that. And that's what goes here is your description. If you export this, you're actually going to uh, see it. If you export it after you've imported it to Shopify, you'll see that it puts HTML around this. Uh, but you don't need to put the HTML when you put it in there. And then the vendor is just the name of the vendor. Whoops. That you purchase it from. It's a good way to come up in SEO because this will show up on the page as well. And the type is really like the category and this helps for sorting items. So this type we're going to have is going to be necklace. Tags are uh, things that you can use to sort items and create collections on Shopify, so they can be very useful if you want to put tags in, just uh, separate them with a comma, and you can put them right in there. Published uh, can either be true or false, uh, and if you have uh, true in here, it will go onto your website and show up on your website. If you have false, it will go into the uh, admin, and it will show up in the admin, but it won't be published on the website. Uh, Anytime you have a product that has no options, the uh, default option, if it's just a single option product, is going to be title and the option value is going to be default title. If you have options for the product, uh, the option title would be size and then the uh, option value may be small 
and then you may have another one that says large and uh, medium. So, and the same thing goes for option uh, name one and three and option value two and three. So these could be the values, uh, the name might be color and the values might be blue, green, and red. So the variant skew, uh, it's not required, but if you have skew numbers, you put them in here. Variant grams, um, that's not required either, but if you have a, a weight, so we'll just put one pound. You have to put it in grams, which I think uh, is like 456 grams is one pound. So you have to convert it to grams, and it will automatically convert it to whatever the um, default uh, weight setting is that you have in Shopify. <clears throat> Variant inventory tracking. Um, <coughs> we have Shopify. This is not a required field, but it's best probably just to fill this out with Shopify. Um, variant inventory uh, quantity we're just going to put one right here uh, you can put your quantities if they vary right there and then uh, deny is going to be the variant inventory policy and this either is deny or continue and that either prevents you from selling it when you run out of stock or allows you to continue selling it uh, when it's out of stock even though it says zero uh, variant fulfillment service. Uh, manual means you sell it yourself. If you're using a inventory fulfillment house like Amazon Fulfillment, you would put it in here. has to be in lowercase with underscores. It can't have spaces uh, or dashes. It could have instead of underscores. Um, and then the variant inventory price, we're just going to put uh, $34.95 and that would go right here. If you have a compare wrap price, let's just say $65.95 uh, then it will cross this out in Shopify and say our price $34.95 so that's basically like this is your sale price and this is the price that uh, you would say it sells for $65.95 but you can buy it here for $34.95 uh, the variant requires shipping will be true unless it's a service for instance where you wouldn't ship it uh, variant is taxable would be true unless it was something like a service that wasn't taxable uh, variant barcode if you have a barcode you put it in here it's not required uh, variant this is the image uh, this is the products featured image and it's I have a URL which you can see uh, is right here and I have just uploaded this into Shopify uh, I've uploaded this product and I put the bar I put the uh, URL right here so in Shopify we'll just go to that real quick if you go to um, if you go to down to settings and then you click on settings uh, you'll see that you can go to files here on the left and you can upload files so you can see this is where I uploaded the image and it gives you a URL and I just copy that URL and I pasted it into the spreadsheet there so if you, you it is not required that you put in an image when you uh, import so um, this is where the image goes and uh, this right here is the alternate text for the image uh, so that just goes right next to the image and it's called uh, image alt text and the image alt text is very important for SEO it's not required uh, if you're not putting in an image you don't need to put in alt text but if I'm saying if you're not putting in an image you can put all the products information except for the image then you can go into Shopify and put that image uh, information in later gift card is always going to be false so if you're putting in multiple items uh, you can just copy false and true over here and true here all the way down manual all the way down deny uh, Shopify all the way down so it makes it and then true and default title over here on the left copy them all the way down so it makes it pretty quick when you're entering items you're not putting in a lot of fields all of these Google uh, fields <laughs> excuse me are only required if you're using Google Shopping and you're integrating that uh, through an app um, with uh, Shopify. Uh, the variant image, if you have multiple images, like you have a blue uh, image and a green image, and you want it to change when you click on that blue and green variant uh, in the drop down, that's where this is where you put in variant image. Uh, the variant weight pounds, uh, if you're in the US, of course, if you're somewhere else in the world, uh, you're using metric. Uh, so you just put in what your variant is if it was grams or whatever and um, that is it that's all that you have to put in 
Uh, you don't. This is actually not required because it will go to the default that you choose in Shopify for your weight. So once you put those in, you can take this and you can save this file. Let's just go ahead and save this. Uh, save as. I like to save it on my desktop so I know where it is. And uh, you go to product uh, and let's call it product import. And we'll just say call this demo. And you see right here that it is a CSV comma delimited file. So you can create these in Excel, you can create them in Google Sheets, and you can also create it in this format in, um, in numbers. So I'm going to save it to the desktop so I can easily find it. Product import demo, save. Now we're just going to minimize this and we're going to go into products and Shopify and let's just go to import. And we're going to choose this file. Product import demo and upload that file. It's going to show me an example of how this is uh, going in to Shopify and the Shopify fields. And everything looks good. And we just start our import. And since there's only one item, it shouldn't take very long. It may take longer if you're doing a, a large number of items. And you'll just get an email notification. Uh, either way, you get an email notification through your uh, email in Shopify. So um, let's go in and just search this product. And it was, um, so now that we've done the import, we can go in and check for that item. And it's uh, Blue Starfish was the title that we put in there. It's actually a seahorse, but here's the item. And we can view it. You see the description, the title is in there. Uh, if we view it on our website, this is the product handle that we put in. Uh, which is used in the URL. Uh, you have the uh, compare at price we put in there. We've got our price. And um, that's all there is to doing an import. And if you're doing single item imports without variance and only one image, it's very simple. You just uh, line them up in your spreadsheet uh, row by row. So you just go to the next row and you put in all your information. You would copy the true and the title and default title, um, Shopify and the uh, manual and true you copy those all the way down and you just go through uh, let's just say that we want to a great thing I like to use is uh, control D so if you highlight these items if you had a lot of items that were single uh, variant items you just go con highlight the one that you want to copy and do control D and that puts that all in for you you do the same thing over here Control D, do that with Shopify, Control D, and this is really the way that you can get in um, items really fast. And then all you have to do is fill out the information uh, that is required uh, as far as the weight, uh, the price, if you want to put in an image. So you see you can go really quick because you're just putting in your title, title, titles, uh, or the handle, 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 and then your title. And for your new items that you're putting in, you're putting in your type, which is basically like your category. Uh, and then you're putting in your vendor. So it's very simple. A lot of these rows are just going to be copied all the way down. And that's how you do product imports in Shopify. If you want to do variants, uh, check out my video on variants. I will post the link at the end of this video. You can also click on the link below this video. There's a link to uh, pinehurstwebsites.com and I have a tutorial on how to do variants. Thanks for tuning in. I hope you've enjoyed this video.